Okay, here is my finished product of a uh, trellis for my cucumbers. I've dug a trench here that uh, my grandson's coming in next week and he's going to help me plant some cucumbers. Uh, so I've never had a trellis before for cucumbers. I just let them lay on the ground. And they, most of them would get worms or just didn't grow very well. I got a few good ones, but not really that many. Uh, and I planted a lot of them. <laughs> I just didn't get a very uh, good harvest from all of that. Anyway, I wanted to uh, do a trellis this year. I saw some designs on the internet on YouTube and I thought, well, maybe I can do that. <laughs> they gave me some real good ideas. So basically, um, I took a, I think it's like a nine foot two by four. Uh, it's a little over nine feet. I, I think I cut it off to nine feet so I could make these things four and a half feet. Uh, the, the support beams or whatever uh, and what I did is this top piece and bottom piece uh, I took the two by four and cut a one inch off of each side so that left what about an inch and a half for these support beams uh, and I actually had to use a, another nine foot two by four and do the same thing um, of course I've got I cut two one-inch pieces for the top and bottom. They're just stored in my garage now. I don't need those, but uh, I needed those two extra support beams. I could have got all of this. If I just wanted half of this, I could have got it out of one two by four, and I could have just had two of those support beams. You can get two of those out of that. Um, and uh, it only took me about, I guess, three hours, and I, I take a lot of breaks. <laughs> As I get older, I take more breaks. And these um, nails um, are four inches apart. Uh, I thought that looked like a decent pattern. I don't know. Um, anyway, it's it, it turned out really well. Um, and I took some old um, uh, pieces of redwood or whatever. They're just thin pieces of redwood. I, it's just junk redwood laying in the garage. Um, and I cut those things and screwed them onto the bottom so that the, the whole trellis does not hit the ground so maybe it won't rot so fast. And those things are screwed in. I can just replace those next year. Uh, and every connection is screwed together. Uh, and I put some, uh, when I cut the ends of the two by four off, they were slanted or whatever. So I just saved those things and, and uh, screwed them in to support the four corners, uh, which I think, I don't even know if I needed that, but I was going to throw them away. And I said, well, instead of throwing them away, I'll just put them in the corners. Um, and basically the two end little redwood pieces, uh, kind of stick into the ground and I made a little I inserted a little eyelet right here into this trim board and just use a zip tie to kind of keep that off the I got these little pieces of, I, I glued a couple of pieces here just to keep it away from the house a little bit uh, and that's basically all I did uh, like I said, I'm, take, I'm thinking three hours. Uh, somebody that's young could probably do it in two hours. And if you're just making half of it, you could do it in an hour because uh, you wouldn't have to cut that other board. What takes so long is the other board. Uh, if you have to, I, I used a circular saw and cut, you know, one inch off of each side of that two by four. Uh, I thought about painting the thing to help protect it from the elements, but I don't know if it's that big a deal. I got plenty of that extra wood. Uh, it's just junk wood that I got when uh, they built this house over next door. They were throwing away uh, the frame pieces that uh, basically uh, 
surrounded the rafters. Um, they'd have a big stack of rafters and had one of these big frame pieces on each side, I guess to protect the rafters, and, and this was just junk wood. They were throwing them away. They had them next to the dumpster and said they were said I could have them because they were going to throw them away, keep them from having to haul them off. Um, they were all connected. Um, well, you can kind of see right there. They had some kind of metal things attached, and they were kind of a pain to get pulled apart. Uh, they were in there pretty tight. Uh, but I pulled all those pieces apart, and I think I threw those metal pieces away. I don't think I saved those. But anyway, um, and I had all the nails. Um, I had a box of nails that I've had for years. Uh, everything I've got here cost me zero because I had it all. I had the string. Uh, found that laying in a box in my garage. I didn't even know I had that. I just happened to walk by it and saw it. I said, oh, I can use that string. I don't have to go to the store and buy any. Uh, and I don't really know what kind of string it is. It was just a roll of string. Uh, I couldn't tell you what kind of string it is. But um, the screws I had where I took some things apart for the neighborhood, I took some planter boxes apart, and I saved all the screws. <laughs> <laughs> so, so a lot of the screws uh, I already had. I just had them in an old can, uh, and the wood was free, and the nails I had, and the string I had, and the zip tie I had, and the eyelet I had, and all, every piece there I had. So, I uh, just took a little bit of time. So, we're gonna see how the trellis thing works. I may have it backwards, I don't know, maybe it'd do better if I turn it back around the other way, uh, where the strings would be on this side. I don't know if that makes a difference. Those tendrils or whatever they're called on the cucumbers, I think they're gonna hook about anything I can anyway. And I'm anxious to see how it works because I've never had uh, a trellis before. Um, I've wanted to get one for years, but I always thought I had to go buy one, uh, like a metal, like a, what do you call it, a, a cattle panel or something like that. Uh, I thought, I don't want to, I don't want to go do all that. Uh, um, I just have fun trying to grow the stuff. Uh, and my tomatoes are doing well. They, they were, <laughs> they were about a third of that size a week ago. <laughs> they, they've really grown. Uh, they were tiny. I could barely hold them in my hand. See, those things were four dollars a piece. Like I couldn't afford ones that were just a little bigger than that. They were like sixteen dollars. So I was like, oh, I don't, I don't want to put that money, in, much money into tomatoes. Anyway, well, that's my finished product, and uh, it turned out as well as I'd hoped. So uh, I hope those strings hold up. I don't know. I didn't crisscross those things, you know. I didn't interweave them or anything like that. They're 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 separate, you know. Uh, they're not they're not crossed in there. Uh, I think they would have been more stable if I had crossed them. Just an idea. If you're going to do this, maybe that's something you might want to consider. I didn't think about that till I was finished. And I was like, well, I'm not going to redo it. So next year I will. If this doesn't work very well, I'll cross them next year. But anyway, that's the that's the finished product. So uh, we'll see how it goes. I might post a video later later on in the summer and see how they work. I'm hoping you know when the cucumbers crawl up here, um, the uh, bees and everything can pollinate the flowers. They can get to everything a lot easier and. Um, have less spoilage due to worms and just laying on the ground. I couldn't keep them off the ground for years. I, I try to prop stuff under them and leaves under them and everything, and they'd still get worms and everything. It's like, well, I just have to throw so many of them away. And they didn't grow very well. Uh, this year, I'm going to try to outdo myself. <laughs> okay, I'll end the video. Thanks for watching.